Sub YouTube update on the 2.0 Turbo Audi, Volkswagen Audi, Jetta. Come on, come on us. Just prepping everything for the head gasket on the head install. Clean up the pistons. Just to clean those two in there. Gonna spin the engine, and then we're gonna get a little table, a little no table. Uh, Piece of block, flat block with the sandpaper. So we're gonna sand it down. Gonna replace that off. And I'm waiting for a timing timing belt kit. Let me go ahead and spin the engine and clean it up. So I already spin the engine. Those pistons are clean. Those are has carbon build. We're gonna get this wire with that low air. Don't go too fast. Even if you're gonna chip the piston itself. So it's go really tapping it. It's go really gentle. So let me finish that up and then I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, we have most of the carbon build up, all from the uh, pistons. Uh, we're not gonna go all out because you don't really have to do this. All he's doing this because I had a, car a lot of carbon build because of uh, turbos, turbo is trash because he's sending all the oil through the coolers. coolers. See all this oil right there? That oil is not normal. So your turbo, if you have oil in the inner coolers, your turbo is trash. You either have to uh, refurbish or get the uh, refurb uh, the um, rebuild kit or get a new turbo. So let me go ahead and go ahead and bring the um, wood block, a block with the sandpaper, so I can sand the block down. We're gonna spin the engine again, so we can take the pistons down, so it won't be in my way. There you go, they're down. So now I can go ahead and sand it. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and, head and get it. And I'll be right back. Cause the head is all the way over there, ready. This is the head. With the bulb, bulb jab. You bulb stem seals. Ready to go. Waiting for your timing belt kit. So I can install the head. Timing belt. New O-rings on the injectors. And it should be fun. So for now, let me go ahead and sand the block down. So we can make sure it's uh, nice and clean. The reason why we're gonna scrub the block, where you're gonna sand it, is to make sure you don't have an uh, old head gasket on it. So let me go ahead and do it. Okay, I have these ones here. I believe this is from um, Body Shop. You can buy one of these at Walmart. Or you can make your own with a piece of 2 by 4 like the one on the floor. Cut a little piece and then add some little sandpaper on it. But yeah, the main goal is here. Just grab it. And then all you do is this. Sand it down. Make sure the the black is not warp. It's not. It's not uh, stretch. It's not um, bent. And then the principal reason, number one reason, is to make sure uh, the head gasket is off. This apply for any engine. There you go. Even. And then I'm gonna add gasoline on it, gas, and then clean it. So it's looking better to go. And then uh, if you guys have a graphite or graphite um, head gasket, you can go ahead. You don't have to add anything on it. But you have the multi-layer like the LS1 or any other engine is like a metal head gasket. You can always go ahead and buy an AutoZone or Radius, any any Napa, any auto parts near you buy a copper copper spray that's gonna add another extra layer so it can seal better I'll show you the bottle right now but anyway only does if it's a metal head gasket so that one is good all we're gonna do now is I have my beautiful juice right here gasoline we're gonna spray it everywhere we're gonna clean it nice and neat even on the intake I don't care guys is life or like four dollars here in, uh, of a gallon right here in, in California so yeah it's the precious juice in here four dollars a gallon comment below how much is the gas on your state because right here in California it's almost four dollars one gallon so once we have that we're gonna let it sit uh, we're not gonna add water we're just gonna wipe it with the rag and then we're gonna blow it so let me go ahead and do that I'll be right back but then I'll 
we have everything nice and clean with the rack, the piston itself, the cylinder. So now we're gonna do on any type of car, we're gonna bring the piston number one up, which is the TDC time in dead center or compression stage. So we're gonna spin this bad boy. Oh, it's already up, so it goes slowly. I'll show you one. When you feel that it's all the way up, if you see it's already going down, we have to go back a little bit. Even feel that on the thing gets loose. Around there. Right there. Even on, on the mark, uh, it has no mark in here, but I'm guessing it's gonna be, this one right here is gonna be pointing right here. But we're gonna make sure, double make sure on the, on the pulley, which I have it on the box. We're gonna get that one off. The timing cover, the timing cover in there. I don't see the mark, but that's your TDC right here. Any car, first piston, number of piston all the way up. So that's ready for the head. Let me go ahead, bring the gasket, everything, set the head gasket, and now I can drop the head in. All right, now let's talk about gaskets. Whenever you you guys purchase a head gasket or a headset, this is gonna come with it. Anything from the head on above, everything attached to the head, which is gonna be the head gasket EGR tools or, or drop uh, pickup tools for an uh, turbo valve cover gasket all the seals for water pump or why not the other stuff uh, this is for the EGR on the two on the this one right here valve cover the other sensors the exhaust gasket for the turbo huge one right there this is for the exhaust side on the head. This is the intake side, because it's rubber like that one over there. So uh, this one is for a throttle body. Uh, fuel injector, uh, little rubbers or seals. Washers for all the banjo bolts, whatever gas bolts you have. So this is the headset. This is what it includes. Remember I told you for the metal one, we're gonna use copper spray. So let me go ahead and get everything ready. Um, I recommend any head, any any ball job, whatever you guys replace the head gasket on any car, replace the head bolts. Any engine, any car, head bolts, because some of them they always stretch when you torque them down. Especially has a great um, uh, the um, torque sequences and all the stuff. So make sure um, it's always recommended use a brand new bolts, replace the head bolts. So let me go ahead and get the copper spray. Set the bad boy in there. Let's go. All right, remember I told you about the head bolts? Here we have them. That's the number in there. If any of you out there needs them, good brand. I'm not doing Mickey Mouse in here. So here we go. It comes with a little sticker. That's the number in there. Brand new head bolts. So. Ready to install the head gasket, copper. Let me go get the torque sequence and I'll be right back. All right, this is the copper spray. We're gonna spray the, the gasket. And then for the torque sequence, it's a 40 Nm. It's equivalent, uh, something like, almost like 30 foot pounds. I know it seems odd, but yeah, it's 40 Nm. 180 degrees, which is half turn. And optional, you can do another 90 degrees. So it's only three, only two steps. 40 Nm, which is like 30 pounds, foot pounds. 40 Nm, 180 degrees, which is half turn. And then we're gonna install the gasket. I'm, I'm gonna apply copper, copper spray gasket on, on both sides. Let me go ahead and do that, I'll be right back. This is how it looks after you spray. So now we hope can go ahead and install it. It's only one way, so there's no way to, to mess it up. That's the only way. All the holes are in there. See the big hole in there? There's only one way, so don't worry about it. So now let me go ahead, hurry up, install the head, the bolts, and then start with the torque sequence. Alright, head is in. Time to start dropping on the head bolts. Let's do this. Getting all the head bolts all the way tight by hand. Two 
Too bad I don't have a tripod. Damn it. So once we go by hand, we're gonna target it down. 40 nm. Those 40 nm, it's like 30, 31 foot pound. I don't know why they have it on nm though. Okay. Let me get torque. 40 nm, and we're gonna do a crisscross. One, two, three, four, triangle. On a X, 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 X. That's the sequence. Last one for the 40. That's 40, so now we're gonna move it to 180 degrees. Put inch, pound, and M. And the grease we're gonna have to go in in here and then it's gonna we have to say it still it's gonna calibrate there you go so we're gonna go 180 There you go, 180 degrees, so we're going to go, same pattern, like an egg shape, corner by corner, all the way in. Let me go ahead and get that done, because I don't have a tripod. So this is the last 180. There you go. So we have all that done. And then just to reassure, we can even there another 90 degrees, that's optional, so I'm going to do another 50 degrees. So there is so there is the head installed, head gasket, bolts, uh, the bolt pattern and, and sequence and uh, torque specs. So what's next? They installed the intake manifold, the rear, um, the ground there, the little uh, hose that goes on the bottom right there, the valve cover, the intake, and the turbo. We're gonna wait because that turbo is blown. It's, it's already passing oil, oil oil into it so yeah this is the update that's how you install the head and the torque sequence i'm just waiting for the timing belt kit so yeah stay tuned thank you for watching okay, back on this audi 1.2.0 uh, you see the little butterflies in here these little things flat things right here you can go in two positions go in here or there see difference go in here or here and these little tabs, these little ears in here, like that one right here, it goes into here on the intake. You see the little holes there? So this is how it goes. This one here and that one there. That one is broken, so I'm replacing for a new one, so it goes here. There's only one way uh, you can put them on the head. So look what happens if you go backwards. If you put them backwards, it will not go all the way in. You see how it stays stuck? Like, one, like half an inch up so if you get it out and then you flip it over watch how it goes all the way in boom see how it's flush so it's only one position I thought I was a good idea for you guys for uh, for me to show you guys so yeah it's only one way on the 2.0 Audi or Volkswagen okay also on the 2.0 Audi or Volkswagen before you install the intake, make sure you replace, of course, the gasket, the uh, O-rings for the injectors, and plug in the, the uh, injectors, please. So plug in the uh, the wire plugs. So I already plug in the injectors. I already have new O-rings for the injectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this gasket in here. I'm gonna pry it out, get it out, and replace it for the new one. Once it's that one there, now you can uh, install the intake. All right, new gasket is in, the old one is out. So this shit is trash. 
new one in we're ready to put uh put back the intake into the head so let's go gently be careful make sure no cables are getting between this uh tube we're gonna push it out of the way and then we install the intake before you install anything make sure if you see any any sensor in plug or disconnected grounds or whatever try to follow it chase it see where it goes before you put the intake before you, you uh put the bolts down so let me go ahead and install the intake now